All right, well, I'm having a lot of fun with this new uh, plotting computer plotting device that I got. And uh, you can tell right away on these cells if you've got something worth looking into or you just want to discard it and go on to something else because it really gives you a, 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 an idea of what's happening on the cell. And I came up with a new one today that uh, probably won't work in the long run, but I thought it was interesting, so I thought I'd show it. That's it right there. It's a little stainless steel um, coffee creamer cup with um, a magnetic stainless steel scrubber and then the uh, lead with holes in it and then alum and distilled water. And it's rechargeable. And uh, there's the voltage on it right now. And I've used this little uh, AA battery pack to charge it up. And then I'm using this little motor here to use for a discharge. And it's got a 100 ohm resistor on it right here. So I can vary the load by changing the contact point on that resistor. And then with the computer, you can really see this really, really well, what happens. So let me, let me turn this on. I'll show you. I'm going to put it on the 100 ohm resistance first with the motor. And watch this uh, discharge. There goes the motor. There's the LED going. And watch this. This is I thought this was really, really cool. See it going down there? There's my voltage right there. And this is going to drop off. And it's going to drop off on that same kind of uh, slope that I showed the other night, which I've decided is very similar to a NICAD uh, battery, which is what John Bedini's been telling us. And it'll go right on down. Uh, it won't uh, take a, a sharp dip. It discharges uh, very similar to a NICAD battery. So that was impressive. But... See how that's just kind of going along, nice as you please, and there's the motor. Okay, now I'm going to increase the load. I'm going to move the, the contact point 100 ohms less. This is going to speed the motor up quite a bit. There goes the LED on bright. And there goes my, my drop. Watch, watch the voltage drop off here. And I thought this was really cool, cool to see. And um, this is where I disconnected it for a second. And you see how it bumped back up. Now it's on the decline here. On a little bit faster decline slope than this. And this was the self-discharge decline. So this was really good to see this. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect it all together and watch it bounce back. This is this battery bounce back that we've seen before. And I thought this was really cool to watch happen. And this is the rebound that we've seen before, which is similar to what uh, some of the batteries and some of the capacitors I've worked with rebounded. Come back up again. Okay, now I'm going to put the charge back on it here. And watch, it's going to come back up to here, only a little higher. Let me give it a zap of energy. I'm just going to do this for a few seconds here. And this is where it acts like a capacitor, which I think is really interesting. Okay, there's... There's the voltage on the battery right now. There's the computer picking it up right away. I'm just going to put this on just for a few seconds. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect it. Watch it come back down. There's the voltage coming on back down. But it's not immediate. It's actually put a charge on that battery. Here again, that's magnetic stainless steel. It's a magnet. If you put a magnet on that, it sticks. But it's what they call stainless. It's the uh, I, a food grade stainless steel. You get it in the dollar store. All the stainless steel in the dollar store is this magnetic stainless. And then that the pot scrubber is magnetic stainless steel to give me the surface area. And then I'm using the lead with the holes in it. But no um, lead oxide, just the piece of lead, the linotype lead, and then the alum um, and distilled water. And take a look at this. There's the slope again, and it's actually higher than it was before. So I put a charge back on that thing. Now let me load it up again. Watch it go back down. And there she goes back down again. But I tell you, this having a computer look at this 
is so much better than trying to just guesstimate what's going on with these batteries. And like I say, you can tell right away if you're, you're getting anywhere or you're just spinning your wheels. And uh, I'm really enjoying this a lot. This, this was a real good, uh, good thing. And uh, it's a multimeter that has a port um, that plugs into your computer. And there are several brands out there I'm finding out. You don't have to get a certain kind, but this is real simple. It's not a huge amount of money, and boy, it sure does help. Anyway, thanks for watching.